Assalamualaikum everyone. Today we will discuss about graphical solution of uh, simultaneous linear equation. By the end of this video, you will be able to draw the graph of a linear equation in one or two variable. Plus, you will be able to evaluate the graphical solution of simultaneous linear equation of a two by two system. So let's start with the basic definition of a linear equation. It is basically an equation in which the maximum power of a variable remains 1. For example, uh, we have an equation 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. You can see that uh, in this equation the variable is x and you can also see that the exponent or index of this variable x is 1. Similarly, uh, you can see uh, other equations like 2x minus y is equal to 10 and uh, minus x plus 5y uh, is equal to minus 8 or minus g plus 4 is equal to 0 and in all these equations you can see that the maximum power of variable is 1 so these are the equations uh, which are called linear equation and uh, one thing which is very very important that Whenever you draw the graph of a linear equation, you will always get a straight line. Uh, let's have an example. Uh, it's x is equal to 5. Now, this is an equation in which you have just one variable, which is x. So, whenever you have an equation in which you have just one variable, uh, you will get a straight line. For example, x is equal to 5. You can see uh, a red line, a vertical red line. And you can also see that throughout this straight line, the value of y is changing. For example, uh, in first coordinate, the value of y is 5 and then value of y is 10. But you can see that the value of x remains 5 throughout the straight line. So the equation of this straight line will be x is equal to 5. Now let's have another equation, y is equal to minus 5. Uh, the graph of this equation will be a horizontal line at which the value of y remains minus 5. You can see the horizontal red line uh, and you can also see that the value of y remains minus 5 throughout the straight line. Similarly, look at this straight line x is equal to minus 5 and uh, uh, we have plotted four coordinates at this straight line and we can see uh, the coordinates of first point uh, which are minus 5 and 2 and then minus 5 and 0 and then minus 5 and 4 and uh, we can see that throughout these coordinates x coordinate is stationary x coordinate is not changing x coordinate remains minus 5 throughout the straight line now we will discuss the graph of linear equation involving two variables let's consider an example we need to draw graph of the equation 2x plus y is equal to 10 this is an equation uh, involving two variable x and y First of all, uh, you need to make y or x as subject of the formula. In this example, we are going to make y as subject of the equation. If we make y the subject of this equation, uh, we will get y is equal to 10 minus 2x. Dear students, in previous example, you have seen that we had just one variable. So we have drawn the graph of those equations easily. But if you have two variables, you need to construct a table of coordinate. For example, uh, you can see this table. We have selected three values for x. If we select x is equal to 2 and if we substitute x is equal to 2 in this equation, we get y is equal to 6. Similarly, uh, if we substitute x is equal to 3 in this equation, we will get y is equal to 4. And if we substitute x is equal to 4 in this equation, we will get y is equal to 2. So finally, we have three coordinates, 4, 2, 3, 4, and 2, 6. And one more thing, you can see that uh, the value of y is depending upon x. And uh, it means that y is a dependent variable and x is independent variable. We can see that x is independent variable, so we can choose any value for x. But try to choose a smaller value because uh, your graph should should be plotted within the given coordinate system. Now we have three coordinates and if we plot these three coordinates we will get a straight line which will be the graph of this given equation. 
Now, we discussed the graphical solution of simultaneous linear equation and there is a very very important working rule. First of all, we will draw a graph of equation 1 like we have drawn in the previous example. Similarly, we will draw a graph of equation 2 and then we will find the point of intersection of both straight lines will be uh, the solution of the given systems of equation. Let's have an example. Uh, we have two, two linear equations and two variables. First equation is 2x plus y is equal to 10 and the second equation is 3x minus 2y is equal to 1. First of all, we plot the graph of uh, first equation. Like uh, I have told you that first of all, we need to make y or x uh, as the subject of equation. If we make y subject of this equation, we will get y is equal to 10 minus 2x. Similarly, uh, we will plot these three coordinates. First of all, uh, we will plot 4, 2, then 3, 4, and then 2, 6, and we will get graph of this equation. Now, look at the second equation. If we make y a subject of this equation, we will get y is equal to 3x minus 1 over 2. And uh, if we substitute x is equal to minus 1, we get y is equal to minus 2. Similarly, if we substitute x is equal to 1, we get y is equal to 1. Again, uh, there is no hard and fast rule for the selection of values of x. Because x is a dependent variable, we can choose any value for x. So if we plot these three coordinates, we will get we will get another straight line and if we want to find the solution of this 2 by 2 system we will see the point of intersection of both straight lines in this uh, coordinate system we can see that the both straight lines are intersecting at x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4 so this will be the solution of this system of equation after this, there is a practice question. You will have to do it yourself. And uh, when uh, you will plot the graphs of uh, both equations, you will be able to see that uh, the both straight lines are intersecting at x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Thank you so much for watching this video.